Hello, welcome to Pi Excellence Tutorials. Now, in this video, it's a continuation of questions from the University of Zambia. All right, tutorial sheet. Uh, I don't know if it's or what number is that, but all I know is that it's on circular motion. All right, so now the question reads a 450 gram ball at the end of the cord is whirled in an almost horizontal of radius 1.25 meter. Its tangential speed in the circle is 8.5 meter per second. Do not neglect the weight of the ball. The string cannot be perfectly horizontal. What must be the tension in the cord? The what must be the angle? What angle does the cord make with the horizontal? All right. So uh, what you, you need to avoid here is like the previous question where it was being attached to some, to some end and the bulb came like that and then it was going like that. No. In this case now, you have the bulb like that, and it has to, it's being wild, wild, in an almost horizontal, All right? So you have it like that. So now we need to find, since it's not really horizontal, we need to find, okay, so let me say this bulb, there. So that you are able to see what I'm trying to mean. Okay. So, and this is what I have. of a bulb at that point. Now, what I need to find here now is the angle it's making with the horizontal because it's not, it's not moving in a, in a perfect circle, in a perfect circle. It's just almost horizontal circle. So with the horizontal, all right, it's going to have to be on that inclination like that, of which this is the tension that I have. So now what's going to happen is if I resolve this, I know that this down there is going to have some weight here. Now, if I resolve, you can see that the, the vertical, component of the tension is basically going to be the sign of this angle over the tension. So I have T sine theta. And in the X here, what's going to happen is T cos theta. So that is what is going to happen. And that gives the difference in that. So we can see that here now, the T cos theta is the one that is giving the centripetal acceleration to this ball that is <clears throat> moving in a horizontal. So now, what are we going to have? We're going to have the summation of forces in the Y. We're going to have T sine theta minus the weight being equal to zero. So T sine theta equal to the weight. All right, and then we go to the horizontal. Well, we have the centripetal acceleration. So we're going to have T cos theta being equal to mv squared over r. So this one in my equation two. So what do I do? What I do is to divide the two equations, equation one by equation two so that I can get the angle 
and it's going to look like this uh, mv squared over r it's going to look like this and uh, what i'm going to have is that and that goes so i'm going to have tan theta being equal to uh, m and m will go so i'm going to have rig over v squared all right so <clears throat> Here now, I was given the velocity there, the tangential velocity I was given in the question. And it was, what was the tangential velocity? So what we have here now, okay, sorry that so what we have the tangential velocity oh my goodness okay so the tangential velocity is uh, 8.5 meter per second and the radius is 1.1.25 meters and the mass of the ball is 450 grams. That's the mass of the ball. 450 grams. Okay, so mass is 450 grams. Okay. So now, what I'm going to have is to substitute these values I'm going to be 1.25 times 9.81 over 8.5 squared. Okay. So my angle here is going to be The tan inverse of that 9.63 degrees. So that is going to be <clears throat> my angle, 9.63 degrees. So now you want the tension, you can use the first equation. So the first equation is T sine theta being equal to mg. And uh, tension is going to be mg over sine theta. So tension is going to be the mass, which is 0 0.45. You always remember to have these in standard units, 0.1 meter per square second over sine 9.63. So the tension here is going to be Point six. The tension is going to be point six point four newton. So that is going to be the tension. So this is quite different from the first, yeah, the previous uh, question that we solved. All right. So, but this is the way that you have to go about this question. If you have questions and everything, please about this video. Uh, ask in the comment section. You can also give um, this video some reactions, like if you have enjoyed, and also share with others so that they may be able to, to benefit. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, kindly subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for now.